Welcome, my friends. Today, I want to talk to you about something that might sound simple, but is one of the hardest things to practice in our lives, focusing on ourselves. Not on what others are doing, not on what others are achieving or losing. Just us. Just you. Right here. Right now. Have you ever noticed how easy it is to get caught up in the lives of others? We see their accomplishments, their failures, their relationships, and somehow, we feel connected, almost as if their journey is a reflection of our own. But that's just an illusion. It's like looking at the surface of a lake and thinking we can see the depth. It's not real. When I was younger, there was a monk in our temple who would remind us daily, the river never worries about the speed of another river. It simply flows, embracing its journey, carving its path, finding its own pace. And that is what we must learn to do, to flow as ourselves without worrying about anyone else. When we let go of comparison, we start feeling a wonderful sense of freedom. I've met people who live in constant worry about what others think or what others are doing. They exhaust themselves, measuring every step against others. But the truth is, we have only so much energy each day. Why spend it on someone else's life, when we have our own path to walk? Remember this, the same energy we use to judge others could be used to better ourselves. The time we spend watching others could be invested in learning a new skill, nurturing a relationship, or deepening our own understanding of who we are. To focus on yourself, you must first know yourself. I remember sitting for hours in silent reflection, especially when I first entered the monastery. It was difficult. My mind wandered to all the things I felt I wasn't, the things I thought I lacked. But slowly, as I got to know myself, I realized I had strengths I'd overlooked, passions I hadn't yet embraced. When you take time each day to sit quietly, you're giving yourself a chance to see your true self. Maybe you can start with just five minutes, breathing and observing your thoughts. You might be surprised at what you find, the dreams, the fears, the untapped potential within you. In our monastery, we have a garden. Each monk has a section to care for, and when I was first assigned to mine, I couldn't help but notice the others' gardens. They seemed more beautiful, better kept. And one day, an elder came to me and said, stop looking at their gardens. If you focus on your own, it will bloom in its own way, in its own time. I followed his advice, and soon, I stopped comparing. I started noticing the beauty in my garden, in the way the flowers grew, the unique way the plants responded to the seasons. And I realized then that comparison is often just a distraction. When you focus on yourself, on what you're nurturing, your own garden begins to flourish. Focusing on yourself also means being present in the moments that make up your day. In the monastery, we say, the present is the seed. Water it, tend to it, and it will grow into your future. Often, we're too distracted by what others are doing to notice the beauty and power of the present moment. Mindful living is not just about meditating or being silent, it's about being fully present in each moment, in each action, in each thought. Try it. Next time you eat, taste each bite fully. When you're walking, feel each step. Little by little, this practice will help you appreciate your journey and stop worrying about the paths of others. As you focus on yourself, you'll notice that sometimes you make mistakes. You might stumble or even fail. That's perfectly fine. Just as we can't expect a tree to grow overnight, we can't expect ourselves to reach perfection instantly. Be gentle. With yourself. When I was learning to meditate, I would get frustrated when my thoughts wouldn't quiet. But one day, my teacher told me, embrace each thought like a passing cloud, let it come, then let it go. And I learned then the power of self-compassion. When you treat yourself kindly, you'll find that your inner peace grows, and the desire to compare fades away. Now, I invite you to try something. For the next week, make a conscious effort to spend less time focusing on others and more time focusing on yourself. Start a simple journal if you'd like. Write down what you learn about yourself each day, what you appreciate about yourself, and where you'd like to grow. It doesn't have to be long, just a few lines. See how it feels. Remember, life is too short to live through someone else's journey. You have a beautiful, unique path before you. Embrace it, nurture it, and watch yourself grow. Thank you for being here, for taking this step with me. If this message resonated with you, I encourage you to subscribe and join me for more reflections, so that we can continue this journey of mindful growth together.